if you are someone who people seem to try to like mess with for whatever reason, um, you have to think about it like this. Okay, I'm gonna tell a quick story. So there's a farm, right, of pigs. No, 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 they're people, they're people. But they play in poo. You know, they throw it, they eat it around, you know, their shirts are covered. They're just like mud wrestling poo throwers. And then here you come with your clean white shirt and your jeans, your crisp jeans, clean white t-shirt. And they try to throw poo at you, you dodge it. And then you turn back at them and you decide, am I gonna throw poo back at them or am I gonna keep walking? Because am I going to lower myself to the space like, I know that there's E. coli up in that thing. And they just run around playing in it. Are you going to jump in the mud and whirl poo back? Or are you going to keep walking and decide, you know what? That is not worth my time. Because you, contrary to popular belief, you have a choice. You get to decide, am I going to step in the mud with these people who are clearly trying to get get a rise out of me or am I going to keep going about my business so I can get out of this space where they throw poo at people because it's easy to live in oh like you know life just is what it is when everybody around you is the same but when someone doesn't fit the mold when someone is an oddball or a black sheep they raise eyebrows and people people just can't take that. When someone is the black sheep of the family or doesn't fit in or the black sheep of the society or wherever they are, they are attacked more than others. And that's off of a, def a defense mechanism where in survival mode, if something does not fit around it might be trying to hurt you so that's the survival self getting in a protective mode but you have a choice and even if you are a poo mudslinger you have a choice to get out and you're not going to be as tidy and clean as the person who never got in it's going to take you some time to get there first you're going to have to you know decide to get out of the poo you're gonna have to leave all the other poo throwers behind who might throw more poo at you for leaving, who might be looking at you, waiting for you to slip up so that they can come and say, hey, ha, ha gotcha, B. Told you you wasn't gonna never be nothing. You should have never tried anyway because you never had a chance. And that's why you're back here slinging poop with me. And ha ha, and now you're even worse because you thought you could get out. But no, you back here slinging poop but you can get out again. You have a choice. And so let's say you get out, you're covered in poo. The people that are clean might make fun of you because you are colored in poo and you look different from them and they feel like they're better than you. And then you can decide, am I gonna throw poo on them as I walk past or am I just gonna be like, you know what? I am covered in poo. It's not, it's not that it's anything, you know, it is what it is. That is what's happening. And so then you can decide, you know what? I'm going to, change these clothes I'm gonna and then from there are you gonna put new clothes on or are you gonna take a shower are you gonna bathe are you gonna burn the clothes that you had because you you know you're so ashamed that you were previously someone who was covered in poo and then live your life feeling bad about yourself because of where you came from originally even though now you're somewhere clean which is a testament to your strength and courage and ability to prosper which is literal proof that you made it out the mud. And you, because who you were around might not have known better. They did not know better because if you know better, you don't sling poop. You, would, you wouldn't even be near it. If you knew better, you would do better. So those beings that didn't know any better, that, that made you feel bad about yourself, now you're wasting your life being mad that you came out of poop when you're no longer there and clean and crisp. You done showered, it's been years and you haven't been around poop and you still might feel like poop on the inside. And then you decide, you know what? Let me keep evolving. 
I mean, keep going and eventually you feel less like poop. So that first thing no longer bothers you, but then something else is there. Okay, and then you move past that. And it's just a, and every time you heal more, you think, wow, I don't, I didn't, I didn't know I could be this healed. This must be it. This must be what everyone's talking about. And then it's like, nope, there's more healing to do. And then you, you start to fall in love with the fact that you can heal yourself. You can get past that pain. You can be in another experience. You absolutely can. And eventually you realize, wait a minute, I am clean on the inside. I am okay on the inside. Well, whoa, wait a minute, what? I don't, I don't have to be mean to myself. And it was me being mean to myself. It was me hurting my feelings. So it's me that can bring me back. It's me that can decide, you know what? And it's me that can recognize the fact that, wow, I did that. I have evolved. I have grown. Were there things, were we afraid at one point? Did we think we lost me? Yes. <laughs> did, you think, did you think it was over? There was a time when I thought it was over. But then I realized that it was over because it hadn't even began yet. You ever fall so low that you like, man, there's nothing lower than this. <laughs> there's, I never thought that, I never thought I could be here. I never thought I'd experience something like this, but here I am. Here I am. <laughs> and it feels like life is over. It feels like everything that you've ever tried is over and that's it. There's no coming back from this. If you've ever felt like that, you know what I'm talking about. It's over, there's nothing worse than this. But then you wake up again and you're reliving it again and again and again because this is the worst thing you've ever done. It's the worst thing that ever happened to you. It's the worst thing dot, dot, dot. And you, you sit there with that. And it hurts. It hurts horribly bad. The worst pain that you can think about. But if you push through anyway, you will get past it. You are not defined by what you've done. Mistakes. That's not, that's not what defines you. What defines you is how you bounce back from those things. Because no matter how you try to be, you will get hit upside the head a couple, a lot of times. You will get knocked the F out. You will do things that you feel absolutely horrible about. You will do things. You you have things that happen to you, but you will do things that you will feel like poo about. And it's knowing that and knowing that, okay, but I can bounce back from this. This does not define me. I am not defined by my past mistakes, nor am I defined by my past successes. I am defined by how I choose to be defined by point blank, period. I don't have to be a victim of my past or my circumstance. I'm still victorious because I'm still here. I choose to fight another day. I choose to keep going anyway. No matter how I might have felt about it, I chose to, kept, to keep going and I'm still here. And that means that I still have a chance to feel better. That means that I still have a chance to do better. That means I still have a chance to smile. It's not over. It's not over. And you don't have to feel bad about what you've done because we've all done stuff. We've all done stuff we are ashamed, we should feel ashamed of, but you don't have to be ashamed because you ain't the only one and someone's done a thousand times worse than you. The person that's telling you how horrible you are is the one that's done way worse than you. But there are people here who will love you anyway and it's your, your right to be around those people. 